Welcome to AP Biology. In the last video, we did this first problem, the membrane that's permeable, um, and we had to calculate the water potential. And so we figured out that the water potential over here was negative 12, and the water potential over here is negative 24. Water always moves from a high water potential to a low water potential. So negative 12 is actually a higher number than negative 24, right? So if you ever get confused with it, make yourself a number line, right? Negative 12 negative 24, the higher numbers are more to the right, right? So it's going to go from negative 12 to negative 24. And that, I think, kind of makes sense because the the salt, um, even though they have the same molarity, there's the salt separated into two ions. So you actually have more dissolved stuff here. So water goes toward solid. Okay, and so that was part B of that problem. So now we're going to do number two. So number two, for a solution, let's start with this. Number two, for a solution of 0.4 molar sucrose in an open container. So let's write down what we know here. So we've got 0 0.4 molar sucrose. It says it's in an open container, so that tells me that the pressure is zero. If you're in an open container, the pressure is zero. And that is right from your formula sheet, right? So it says right here, if you are in an open container, the pressure is zero. Um, calculate the water potential. So it wants to know this. And so I know that my water potential equals the pressure potential plus the solid potential, but I already know that's zero. So that means this is what I want to find, the solid potential. So that is equal to negative I CRT, and that is right from your formula sheet, right here. And then the I's and the C and the RT are all written right here. So anytime you have sucrose that's covalently bonded, it's got an ionization constant of 1 because it doesn't separate out into different ions. And if you're ever lost with that, it tells you right here the ionization constant for sucrose is 1. Um, that's true of anything that ends in OS or actually anything that's um, covalently bonded. So the C is 0.4. And the molar means moles per liter. I do like to write it out like that so I can cross out my units so I know I've done it right. The R is 0 0.0831. Um, and the units of that are liter bar per mole Kelvin. And then the temperature. It says at the top of this sheet that um, unless it says otherwise, we should use 24 degrees Celsius. But you've got to convert that to Kelvin because these numbers um, need to be converted to Kelvin. So you just add 273. And in this case, you get 293 Kelvin. I can cross out my Kelvins. I can cross out my moles. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. Liter, bottom top, I'm left with bars. So that gives me, um, for number two, a um, solute, concentra a, a solute potential of negative 9.9 bars. So that's what I've got in here. Um, and that we said, remember, was the same thing as the water potential because there's no pressure potential here. And then part, so that's part A. Part B says a flaccid cell having a solute potential of negative 0.3 megapascals. So we've got a cell here and it's flaccid. And so by flaccid, I know that right now its pressure is zero. That's what the flaccid means. There's no, um, it's not like there's extra water that's shoved into it. And it says it has a solute potential of negative 0 0.3 megapascals. So I have a problem because this is in bars and that's in megapascals. Let me hide this so you can see. All right, so I need to do a conversion with that. But let's say, what does it say? The cell, be, so it says it's put into the above solution. So here's the solution and then all this stuff is true, right? The solution has a water potential of negative 9.9. .9. Bars. So I have to convert one or the other. I can do it um, really either way, but um, I think I'm going to convert um, my, let's see, let's convert the bars. So negative 9.9 .9 bars. It tells you up above here that one megapascal equals 10 bars. So I'm going to use that information. So one mega pascal equals 10 bars. So I'm going to do a conversion. And so some people can do this in their heads. 
I would always suggest doing it this way because you're not going to get it wrong this way. So some people are like, oh, do I multiply or divide? I don't know what to do. So I'm going to show you a way to always get it right. So you, you can multiply anything by one, right? 10 times one is still 10. 100 times one is still 100. 99.3 times one is still 99.3. So since this equals this, if I make, um, a, if I make um, a fraction out of it, since these two are the same thing, it's really like 10 divided by 10, that's one. So I can multiply this by this, and I could put them either one on the top or the bottom, but to do the conversion, if bars is on the top, you're gonna want bars on the bottom. So one mega Pascal divided by 10 bars. Now I can cross out my bars, and I know it's negative 9.9 .9 divided by 10. So it's negative 0 0.99 mega Pascals. So that means in here is negative 0.99, and my cell has negative 0.3. So here's the number line, 0. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, that's negative 0.3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's negative 0.9. This is actually my bigger number, right? So it's always water's potential is going to go from a high to a low water potential. So this is my higher number. So water is going to leave, um, going out. So that's not good for the cell. So um, will the cell become turgid, flash, flaccid, or plasmalized? It's going to become plasmalized. So the answer to B is plasmalized, which means so much water has left that the cell membrane has pulled apart from the cell wall. And then the cell above is what compared to the water potential. Okay, so here's the thing. If water's coming out, that means the solution is hypertonic. And that's generally what I want you to know. But if this if the solution is hypertonic, that means the cell itself must be hypotonic, which is actually what this question asks, which is kind of ridiculous. So the cell above is hypotonic, which means that its water potential is um, higher than outside because it's going up that way. Does that make sense? So you're going to circle hypo and higher. So that is number two.